Now, if I have a single variable function, a scalar function, scalar valued scalar function. and if I say f of x plus f of minus x is equal to 0, we will immediately say that f of x is an odd function of x, an odd function right, because f of minus x is minus f of x. This implies f of x can be represented as a polynomial a i x power 2i minus 1 i equal to 1 to n right wherein it will be in terms of odd powers of x in particular this can be of the form a 1 x right. So, that is what you will immediately conclude based on this restriction. Similarly, now what you have is a function of 3 variables three functions of three variables. So, how will that depend upon the normal is the question. So, you have a restriction this is three functions of these three variables which are the components of n must be equal to minus f of n ok. So, this is again a definition of an odd function this implies f of n is an odd function in particular what Cauchy has shown is this f as a function of n is a linear function of n. You will understand what you mean by a linear function of n shortly ends t's of n can be written as sigma times n where this is what is called as the stress tensor. Okay, or the linear function that maps n to t of n. Okay, for this now you have to go into some tensor algebra to understand what this linearity means, how do you define linear functions and so on. So, we will understand first what is a linear function. Okay. A function is said to be linear if it obeys superposition and scaling. What does this mean? If x and x 1 and alpha times and x 2 and alpha x 1 plus beta x 2 belong to the domain of the function for some constant alpha and beta then f of alpha x 1 plus beta x 2 must be equal to alpha times 
f of x 1 plus beta times f of x 2 okay. If the function obeys this rule then it is said to be linear okay this implies f of x is a linear function okay. This does not mean that the graph of the function will always be a straight line yes it is straight line for a scalar valued function but if you think of the function being a differential equation then the solution to the differential equation need not be a straight line but the differential equation still be a linear differential equation okay. So all that you have to do is check whether this relationship holds for the given function okay. Now what I am interested is function of 3 variables 3 functions which are dependent on 3 variables okay that is t x t y t z the components of the traction along x y and z can be written as n x n y n z where this is a 1 1 a 1 2 a 1 3 a 2 1 a 2 2 a 2 3 a 3 1 a 3 2 a 3 3 is this a linear function in other words is t equal to a times n a linear function. So what should I do is a linear function for given matrix A okay. So what should I do I have to check I have to check whether f of alpha n1 plus beta n2 is equal to alpha times f of n1 plus beta times f of n2 right. So let us go ahead and check so what do I have I have t is equal to a which is given times alpha times n1 plus beta times n2 this will be a times n1 alpha plus beta times a times n2 because alpha and beta are scalars alpha beta are scalar valued scalars. So this is nothing but alpha times f of n1 plus beta times f of n2. Okay. What you found is this to be a linear function. Okay. Now let me show you that if I add f of x defined as alpha x or m x plus c the curve this is a scalar function x is a scalar value okay you will see that this does not satisfy the requirement that f of alpha times x1 plus beta times x2 would be m alpha x1 plus c plus beta m x2 it will be alpha plus c this is not equal to that okay only if it is then alpha times c and beta times c this is not equal to that what is this equal to this is equal to m times alpha x1 plus beta x2 plus c which is alpha m x1 plus beta m x2 plus c okay this is not equal to alpha times f of x1 plus beta times f of x2 okay. So this is not a linear function linear line all what all this implies is 
linear curve need not mean the function is linear. C has to be equal to 0 for function to be linear. Okay. So, thus for the vector uh, mapping of 3 variable functions to 3 functions, you will find that what we add this vector t mapped as a times c n to be the most general linear function. Okay. 